In this video, I'm going to show you how to do multiplication with partitioning. Okay, you can see that um, the, I've <clears throat> set up the questions in the standard form. And we're going to start by multiplying 4 times 3, and then 4 times 20. And over here, we're going to multiply 8 times 5, and then 8 times 30. And um, uh, multiplication with partitioning is uh, quite handy if um, you're either new to multiplication using the standard form uh, or you just find multiplication a little bit daunting. Uh, so this is a nice, uh, easy uh, way to do it. Um, at the end of the day though, you still need to know your multiplication tables, so I strongly encourage you to uh, make sure you learn them. Okay, so um, we'll, start with, uh, we'll start with this question here. Uh, 4 times 3 is 12, so I write over here 4 times 3, okay, gives me 12. Okay, and now I go, um, now I'm looking at the 4 times 20, so 4 times 20 is going to give me 80, draw my line, now I add, and now I just, uh, I, I'm simply going to add uh, these two numbers together, write the answer down here, and that'll be my final answer. So 2 plus 0 is 2, and 80 plus 10 is 90. So my final answer is 92. Okay? And you can see how um, chunking it here, okay, where you, where you show the, um, the multiplication step that you're doing helps you to keep things um, straight in your mind uh, and you can actually see what you're, what you're doing. So if you've made a mistake, you can say, aha, I, I, I didn't, uh, maybe I didn't do this step properly or, or I didn't add uh, the units properly or something like that. Okay, so um, let's have a look at this one now. I ate times 5 is 40, okay, and now I go, uh, now I'm looking at 8 times 30, which is going to be, well I know that 3 times 8 is 24, so it's going to be 240, okay, and now I just add them, okay, 0 and 0 is 0, 40 and 40 is 80, and 200 add nothing is 200, and so my final answer is 280. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Good luck.